First, welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank Boys. If you guys recall, a couple episodes back, we did the first episode of Reef Raiders, and today we're actually gonna do a reef update on Monique's tank. She goes by the Instagram name of My Saltwater Chronicles. All right, guys, it's really early. We're about to get some coffee. Let's go. That's Hector's drink, Fruity Pebbles. A refresher. And then I got my coffee and I think it's a cake pop. Boom! Let's go. All right, Reefers, so we're here at Monique's Reef. Guys, this tank is insane. Um, we visited this tank a couple months ago. We'll put the video down below. Um, it was the Reef Raiders episode, and guys, there's so many new things in this reef tank from fish, corals, and everything. So let's dive right in. Look at all the fishes. <laughs> all right, guys, so there's been tons of changes on this tank. This tank is looking amazing, immaculate. Uh, she's actually got a few new fish that we're gonna talk about. Kind of take a look at, at all the new changes we have in here and you know just kind of go with the flow so monique for the people that didn't watch the first episode yes. um first of all tell us the size of your reef tank uh 200 gallon display is 160 sump is 40 gallon this is the red sea 750 xxl okay now this isn't your first reef tank right you've had other no, reef tanks before my third reef tank um my second one was the red sea 350 and my first one was a 60 gallon marine that we like pretty much customized. It had a canister filter on it. It was like, you know, we made it work. <laughs> now, I, I know you, I noticed that you got a few new things and a few new toys for this tank. Yes. Do uh, you mind if we take it out? No, yeah, that's fine. Alrighty, so uh, can you tell us about this here? We have a algae scrubber now, um, a phosphate reactor now as well. And this is to manage my high nitrates and phosphate levels. Um, we also, oh no, actually, that's the only new, new toys. Oh, and I'm also now dosing magnesium, which I wasn't before. <laughs> so, now, for people that are getting new into the hobby, yes. you know, one reason why, uh, you know, like an algae scrubber is a good idea is it'll remove nitrates, especially if you like a tank with a lot of fish. So, this tank has a lot of crazy, stunning fish. How many fish do you have in here? 27. 27, guys. <laughs> but it's a 200 gallon, right? Like, I feel like I need, like, 50 fish sometimes. <laughs> hey, hey, I mean, I feel like you can't have too many fish in there. <laughs> now, before we go too deep into the tank, Moni, can you tell them where they can find you on social media? My Saltwater Chronicles. My underscore Saltwater underscore Chronicles. All right, so. perfect. Hey, yeah, guys, give her a follow. There's always updates on this tank. Um, and it's a it's a big tank. I mean, my 350 is like half this tank. So yeah, it's a big tank. Guys, check this out. Moorish Idol. It's very hard to come by in, in, in the reef hobby. I mean, I haven't seen one in anybody's tank. I've only seen them at LFS's. So I gotta ask you, Monique, what's your favorite fish in this tank? I have two. My Moorish, of course, and my blue spot jawfish, because those are like the stunners, but then you also have the leopard wrasse that you can't like not admire either, because her colors are like absolutely and amazing right here. I admire her. Yeah, and one thing I can say about your, your blue spot is that he's so open and happy and he seems like he's always out. Yes. I mean, typically you see a blue spot, you kind of see him inside the caves and stuff like that. So to see that he's out there, you can tell that he's really happy where he's at. Yeah, he runs this whole little dungeon. All like right, well, I do see a little guest back here in this box. Yes, my newbie. He's been rocking with us since Wednesday, a whole like five days. So we're, you know. We're making it do what it do. Nah, he's beautiful. <laughs> guys, if you guys don't know what fish this is, this is the marine beta. Beautiful fish. Yes. 
This is a perfect size tank for him. He'll be out in a couple weeks. Maybe like another week, week and a half. All those shrimp in there for him to eat. You know, make him happy. All right, guys. So Hector's taking over the camera now. So this is like a dream tank. It's so big. It's so awesome. So, um, I mean, literally every type of fish. You have some mini ting, dart fish, baby hippo, tons of rasses, LPS. I mean, you literally have a little bit of everything. So what's your favorite coral in here, if you had to tell us? I waited a while to get my Aussie gold. Okay. Um, it's from Cali Cape Coral, shout out to them. Um, but they hooked me up. It's aquacultured and knock on wood. We're still rocking six months later. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I mean that's that's past the testing period. So yeah. That's, that's Torches are my fave though. I need more, but this is my TSA blowtorch. Shout out to Top Shelf Aquatics. Most of this tank is Top Shelf Aquatics, but uh, my tank is my um my torch is my baby too. And then yeah, those are probably like my two faves. And then I have my war paint fully that's coming that back. Yeah. Take a good shot of that. Rainbow Lobo. War paint scolding. That level is, is pretty crazy. I feel like it got more yellow and like brighter since the last time we saw it. Yes. You don't have any SPS in the tank no, yet. Not yet. I used to test it about five or six of them, but they I think it's because of the because of the nitrates, right? You have, I think. I mean, I don't have any SPS or. No, I had or... To, like way before I had. I probably had like ten fish in the tank when I got them, and I think the tank was still too new. Yeah. To, like make them happy, so yeah. It's fine though. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, what is the one coral that you don't have that you wish you had that you're hunting for? Another frog spawn, another hammer, and I think I'll be I'll be okay with you feelings. That's that point. that's not true. You will until you get it. Mm -hmm. Then you'll want more. <laughs> you want more. That's how it goes. Yep. Not that's true. not true. <laughs> so I know you say that you're gonna go to Aquashella. Yes. Right? So uh, is there any particular thing you're looking on on trying to get while you're in Aquashella or anything you wanna do? Um, any shows you wanna see? I want to see Michelle in the aquascaping challenge. Uh, her oh yeah, that's gonna be tight. Yeah. yeah, I definitely saw that. Yeah, she's a um, she's an artist, but she is a what's one of the special paint that she does? Uh, ultraviolet. Yes, UV, UV painter. Um, so I'm excited to see her out there. She, um, guys, she makes some amazing work. Yes, definitely go check her out. Bombshell Creations. That's her at. Find her. Mm. But yeah, I think. If I can just find coral, I'm, I'll be okay. Yeah. I won't, I haven't bought coral since November, so oh, I so had like an itch. You're in due time for some yeah. coral. Yeah. My frag, uh, my frag rack is already ready, so we'll see. She's ready ah. to go. <laughs> Now, when the camera was off, we did talk about one fish that she would want to get. Um, can you tell us what that fish was? Yes. So I want a blotch antheus, but they're like four hundred dollars. Who wants to spend four hundred dollars on something that might die? Um, but yeah, that would be a dream fish. But I do have my Morsh Idol, which was my dream fish. It's kind of like I got all the fish that are in Finding Nemo, so we're pretty much complete with the tank game. Um, I can't get Deb because apparently Deb is super dumb aggressive so the cardinals are like a replacement since they're still kind of like that black and white pattern you stated that you know one of the fish that you wanted to get was a black yes so with that being said it's gonna take boys who came through for you and we just have to get you a black <laughs> put them in a tank there you go put them in a tank guys. <laughs> <laughs> see they're so pretty like they're everything like Guys, it's, a, it's an awesome fish. We actually love the Blotch Antheus as well. That's why he's one of our uh, mascots and our logo. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Has great personality. They just, you know, they're not for the beginner uh, reef hobbyists. If you have a Blotch Antheus, leave a comment below. How long have you had him? Was it your first attempt at the Blotch Antheus? I've had him with no luck. So that's that. <laughs> Monique, if you could give any reefer 
any tips. All right, if you could give any reefer, a beginner reefer, one, one tip, what tip would that be? Um, hmm. Be patient. Always be patient. You can't rush this. I tried. did wasn't successful. Um, fish are probably the simplest things to get through. Uh, you have a tank limit box. I'm, I, I know there are a lot of cute tears out there. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. This girl does not quarantine and look at us. Yeah. I've never <laughs> quarantined anything. So, I mean, it is what it is. You take your risk, but knock on wood, we good. <laughs> Definitely, guys. And just to kind of take off of what she just said, you know, everybody's different. What works for her may not work for you guys. So if you guys want to do that extra precaution for quarantine, by all means, that's up to you guys. It just works out in her benefit that, you know, she doesn't have to and vice versa with us. So definitely, you know, whatever works for you guys, try everything, whatever sticks, use it. Yes. So before this video ends, Monique, what do you have in hand? I have my sticker. If you're going to be at Aquashella, I'll have like 50 of them. Come hit me up. See me walking. Come grab one. I got you. All right, guys. Don't forget to give her a follow on Instagram. If you like this episode of Zilla Tank Boys, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Monique, take us out. Thank you for visiting my Red Sea 750 200 gallon saltwater aquarium. Video number two, and we just gonna keep on doing bigger and better things. I'll see y'all, what, six more months? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Till next out. time, Zotic Boys out. <laughs>